Good day everyone! I am Jeka Javier from BSN3F and I am here to perform the providing care for tracheostomy. For the goal, the patient exhibits a tracheostomy tube and sight free from drainage secretions and skin irritation or breakdown. For the equipment needed, we have to check for first the bedside table, the towel, tracheostomy suction supplies, sterile tracheostomy care kit if available, or two sterile 4x4 inch gauze pads, sterile cotton tip applicators, sterile tracheostomy dressing in pre-cut and soon surgical dressing, sterile basin, small sterile brush, pipe cleaner or disposable inner cannula, small brush, roll of twill tape, tracheostomy ties or tracheostomy holder, um, scissors, pulse oximeter, stethoscope, clean gloves, two pairs, mask, goggles or face shield, hydrogen peroxide, plain NSS or sterile water. For the implementation, first bring necessary equipment to the bedside stand or overbed table. Second, perform hand hygiene and put on PPE if indicated. Then identify the patient, close curtains around bed and close the door to the room if possible. Determine the need for tracheostomy care. Next, explain what you are going to do and the reason to the patient, even if the patient does not appear to be alert. Next, adjust bed to comfortable working position, usually elbow height of the caregiver, lower side rail closest to you. If the patient is conscious, place him or her in the semi fowler's position, and if the patient is unconscious, place him or her in the lateral position facing you. Next, move the overbed table close to your work area and raise to waist height. Check for the long sounds. Place the towel below the trachea side, covering the neck and chest of the client. Put on face shield or goggles and mask. Suction tracheostomy if necessary. If tracheostomy has just been suctioned, remove soiled side dressing and discard before removal of gloves. Use to perform suctioning. Then prepare the basins and cleaning solutions. Mix sterile water or plain NSS and H2O2 in one basin 50-50. Be sure it will fill 0.5 inch of the basin and add another plain NSS in another basin that will fill at least half inch and perform gloving and cleaning the tracheostomy. Next, remove the oxygen source if one is present. Stabilize the outer cannula and face plate of the tracheostomy with your non-dominant hand. Then, grasp the locking mechanism of the inner cannula with your dominant hand. Press the tabs and release lock. Gently remove inner cannula and place in first basin with plain NSS plus H2O2. Let it submerge there for few minutes. Next, sim simultaneously, gently slide the trachea pad dressing downward and discard. Next, check for some exudates or drainage, screen, skin breakdown, irritation, or inflammation. Clean the inner cannula of the tracheal tube using the prepared plain NSS plus H2O2 and use brush to remove solidified or sticky mucus. Next, rinse using the second basin with plain NSS only. Discard gloves and put on another gloves if necessary. Dry the inner cannula using sterile gauze or pad. Gently reinsert it back to the tracheostomy tube. Be sure it is properly locked. Next, dip cotton tip applicator or gauze sponge in a cup or basin with sterile saline and clean stoma under fa face plate. Use each applicator or sponge only once, moving from stoma side outward. Pat skin gently with dry 4x4 gauze sponge. sponge. Slightly commercially prepared tracheostomy dressing or pre-fold non-cotton filled 4x4 inch dressing under the face plate. 